When you're thinking about your oral hygiene routine, brushing and flossing your teeth, there's one area in particular that tends to get missed. I'm Dr. Schur from Tranquil Dental and I wanted to talk about that one area. So the one area that tends to get missed when we're talking about oral hygiene is your tongue. I've got a diagram here to show you a little bit about um, your tongue. Your tongue is a super strong muscle and it helps us to speak, helps us to eat, and also um, houses a lot of taste buds. So taste buds can also be in other areas like your palate um, and around some salivary um, ducts, but the majority of them are there on your tongue. The tongue is made up of four different types of papillae. The one is called your circumvallate papillae, and those are about 10 to 12 bumps that are near the back of the tongue. So they're way back here and they form like a V shape there. The second papilla is your folate papillaes, and those are on the sides of your tongue in the back. They're like folds that are there. The third type of papilla is called a fungiform papilla. It's named that because of its uh, mushroom-like appearance. Mushrooms, not my favorite, but that's what they're called. So the fungiform uh, papilla actually appear on your tongue as a little bit of a larger kind of bump there. Smaller than your circumvallate, but they're the bumps, the red dots that you see. So. Um, if you're looking at your tongue, you might see kind of like polka dots, and those are the fungiform papilla. Now, all three of those papilla have taste buds on them. The fourth type of papilla you have on your tongue does not have taste buds on it, and that's the one that you have the most of. Those are your filiform papillae. They form like uh, thin wires, or I liken them to um, tall, wild grasses. So when we're thinking about uh, cleaning our mouth, it's really important that you don't forget the tongue. So you can brush and floss your teeth and get everything really good and clean, but the tongue will tend to either forget or oftentimes the most common thing that people will use would be the toothbrush because you already have it in your mouth, uh, cleaning it all around. But if you use a toothbrush um, on your tongue surface, it's not firm enough to get in between all of those filiform papilla. Between those filiforms or those wild grasses there, um, and hiding at the bottom of those grasses are lots of bacteria. And those bacteria are actually the ones that help to cause bad breath or halitosis. So when you use something to clean your tongue, you want it to be more firm than a toothbrush. I was gonna show you another picture which is actually um, an individual's tongue. So I thought it would show you instead of the diagram a little bit more clearly. So you can see the circumvallates, the 10 to 12 bumps near the back in the V shape. Can't quite see the folates on the side of the tongue, but you can see the red bumps. Those are those fungiform papillae. But the majority of the tongue is all covered with those filiforms, those wild grasses. So after you brush your teeth and floss, you wanna use, the best thing to use is a tongue scraper. So they come in lots of different sizes and, and um, materials. Um, this is my favorite. This is the one I use. Well, not literally the one I use is at home, but this is the type that I use. And so it's um, able to be bent into a U shape. And when you are done cleaning, brushing and flossing your teeth, you can take this um, with your um, fingers, thumbs, holding on to the ends where the hole is, bend it into a U shape and go back as far as is comfortable on your tongue. So stick your tongue out and then go back as far as is comfortable and kind of just pull it forward. And you do that like two or three times and that cleans your tongue. 
So this is a really neat tool um, and definitely you wanna be using it at least once a day. I use mine uh, t at least twice a day. I use it first thing in the morning and I use it last thing before I go to bed at night. So when you're making sure that you're cleaning your mouth and trying to keep everything um, good and clean and you get in there and you brush and you floss, don't forget to use your tongue scraper because you need to clean all of those filiform papillas and in between those wild grasses.